Hi there YouTube and welcome to another episode of how to build a team for the abyss. Last episode we talked for chambers 1 to 5. This time we're going to talk about 6 to 8. Now overall you will most probably notice that the pattern of team, build in, of team building is exactly the same as 1 to 5. But you should also take into account some specific mobs for which you have to be more prepared. First, let's see the leyline disorder. Using an elemental burst increases all party members' attack and defense by 6%. Maximum 10 stacks at 5 stacks and above increases character numbers, attack speed, and movement speed. So basically, you want people who have energy recharge really quick. Because when you start a round, you have full energy, you use four ultimates, and you basically gain 24 attack and 24 defense. If you have someone who charges his ult really fast, you're instantly going to go into the 5 stack territory, which will even give you this amazing buff. Then you can just save up your ultimates for the next chamber, or if you feel they'll regenerate fast enough, just still keep on using them. So that's about our strategy of ability using. Let's check the first chamber. We see a cryo slime in the first half with a shield, so we definitely want to have at least one pyro user. Shang Ling is pretty good, especially if it's just one person who has the cryo shield. But uh, if there are more, I'd recommend Amber if you're free to play, Duke if you got lucky, Bennett if you're kind of lucky, I guess, as well. And let's see the second part. Here, there isn't actually any pyro shield, even though you can see a large slime. I don't really think that the shield... It's not really a shield, they just burn up so they explode when they die, etc. But yeah, overall, you don't need a, a Hydro character, but it's also maybe a bit better to have one. Especially when facing a Whoop or Flower, to not use um, fire against Pyro. Let's see the second chamber. So we've got one Pyro user, and he'll probably deal with these guys, even the Wooden Shield one. Uh, and here again, no specific shields, so nothing special there. Here we have the giant stone Wallatru. For him, we want to have either a Geo user or a Claymore user. Because, like, it's not a must have, but breaking the shield makes it a lot easier because he doesn't spam the craziest attacks. And now with the last part, we actually see that we must have at least one Hydro user to break the Abyss Mage shield. So let's see, how would I go about my personal team building? <clears throat> I want my second team to not have Pyro users because there are a lot of Pyro Slimes, Pyro Shields, the Abyss Mage in the I mean. And here we want a lot of Pyro users because there's the person with the wooden shield, there's the cryo slime, etc. So I'm going to put Duke as my main DPS, Shangling as my support DPS. Here, because I need Hydro users, I'm instantly going to put my child. Uh, if you don't have child, you can just use Barbara. She can easily take down the shield in, of the Abyss Mage in the end, and you don't actually need the Hydro person all that much. Uh, if you have this dude, I forgot his name, I think it's Xin Chu, he's insane. So if you have him, instantly put him on your team, if he's a high level, that is. Uh, or even as a low level, if you want to have Barbara and him to break the shield, or you want to put Barbara on your team 1, you can use just level 1 him to break the shield. So what else do I want? I want my teams to have a healer. My second one already has two Hydro, so putting a third one won't really do much, so I'll just put Barbara here. 
with child because it's hydro if you have a good cryo user like kaya leveled up or diona you can put them but personally i have fish and it for me feels like an insane insane combo so i'm going to put her um and that means that Jean will be our healer in this team and in the first team we either put a good support DPS that we have like Sucrose to group people, a Nemo MC also can be used to group people, or if we want the water, the hydro resonance, and we have more hydros, we can just put a hydro over there. So that's for floor six. Let's look at floor seven. What would our strategy be there? Critical hits will generate elemental particles and orbs can only occur once every 15 seconds. Critical damage dealt by all members is increased. So, here we want to have a decent crit rate, which usually on a floor 7 you won't have that good of an artifact, so it's not that fatal. Um, but yeah, I would recommend you equip your characters with as much crit rate and crit damage as you can. Even not for the floor, just occasionally it's better in most cases. <coughs> so this is where it gets tricky. There's a Cryo, a Hydro, and an Electro in the first half. So your first team must include at least one Pyro, at least one Cryo, and preferably an Electro. The second half has a Cryo, Pyro, and a Nemo. So you want to have at least one Pyro and at least one Hydro. From here, you see that you also need a Claymore user in your first team. The rest is all the same. A Claymore or Geo. On the second part, you again see that you need uh, Claymore or Geo, also the Hydro already, we already have it from the first floor thinking. Um, this is the same, yeah, and we also want a uh, Cryo on the second team. So, let's see. I said from the first chamber that we need Pyro, Electro, Cryo. So we're just going to put Pyro. I actually want to keep fish for my child team, so Electro you can use even just the level 1 character just to help you with the shield. And normally you will first focus the Hydro one before he gets the shield, because the shield, the Hydro shield is literally one of the worst ones to break even if you have an Electro user. So I actually don't even think an Electro is that important since you're just going to dash into the Hydro one and kill him ASAP. Uh, we said that we need a Cryo. You can use Kaya or Diona. Uh, we also need a Healer and we said that we need a Hydro so we put Barbara. And the last person is basically whatever we want. But since our second team will also need a Pyro user, I'm not going to put Shangling here. But just for the resonance, I would put Amber, personally. Like, if you don't have a third Pyro user, you can just... Uh, just make sure you have at least one Pyro user in both parties. So let's see the other team. Again, Child. For the hydro, fish for the electro, gene for the heal, and Kaya to break the shield. I personally also remember that uh, this floor isn't all that hard, at least the first half, I think. So you don't really even need the cryo user in the first half. But I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. It's always better to have each element for each of the shields to make sure if your DPS isn't good enough to rush it. But yeah, if you don't want to put the high, uh, the cryo one, you can use someone like... Well, scrolls won't actually work that good. Yeah, you can't really group them that well. 
Hmm. Wait, let's actually see chamber three electro. It's also possible that on the chamber three on the part two, you can just rush the electro vanguard before he gets the shield. So it might even be better to do it like this. Child, fish, gene, uh, shambling, and Barbara, Kaya, Amber. Yeah. So for me, this would be personally the most ideal setup for this floor. And now, the final chamber of this part. When HP is less than 60%, attack is increased by 50, and defense is increased by 50. When HP is less, yeah. So basically, you want to have less HP. When HP is less than 30%. So if you're having a hard time with this floor, you can, all, can, you, you can always just let them beat you up a bit at the start, and then you fight a lot faster and stronger. You're going to need an Electro and a Pyro on the first half. Uh, preferably a Bow user. And Pyro. So two Pyro, one Electro, and preferably at least one Bow user for the first team. One Hydro for the second team. One Bow user. Two Hydros, okay. So... Since you want as much pyro as you can on team 1, just bashing Shangling and Diwok for me is the best. You also need a bow user. Well, it's actually not a must. So, if you have a better combo with fish on your second team, you should keep her for the second team. Like, the bow usage isn't a must, but it really helps a lot if you can shoot the golem score. Like, you can even, if you don't have uh, Duke, you can use Amber instead of Duke, and that will help you even have a bow user for the first part while using two Pyros. But for me, Duke in Jungling is good enough. Um, here, Child and Fish. I also want... If I had a high level... Uh, this guy, I would instantly put him on my team, but I don't, so I guess Barbara for me would be better. Which leaves the gene has to be here. Hmm. Yeah, this is if you want to have a safe setup. And then the last one, you can either put resonance for grouping in the first part, and in the second part, you can just put another Electro for the Resonance. But if you actually don't plan on playing it safe and feel like, yeah, I want to stay below this HP, you can just literally ditch Barbara and use him as a support. Like, completely not use Barbara, because you don't really want to heal up above 60, 45, and 30 HP. So that you have the damage boosts. Well, that's basically it for now for these floors. After that, I'll probably be talking about 9, 10, 11, 12. But um, I think I'll address each of those floors individually because you have to actually explain how to properly beat it. Like these floors, even if you don't have the perfect strategy, you're going to beat it. Like over, even if you over level, you're going to end up at some point beating it. But these four, you actually have to have a strategy so that your timing gets better. Otherwise it's also possible you won't even manage to get the six stars for the next floor to unlock. Well Thank you guys for watching, hope this helped, hope you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a follow, check out my Twitch, check out Mihoyo official links in the description or in my uh, YouTube account banner. And if you think that I have some wrong thoughts, opinions on 
how to properly build the teams in these floors. Like if you have some better idea, some better understanding of what I, you should be doing for these floors, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.